talk about sneakers, right? We always have to include a bit of sneaker news in this podcast. That's the most essential information I want to get out there. But this is really cool, right? So Essex brings back its 1989 OG Gel Light Free Citrus. Long title, loads of names, loads of words, but by and large, you've got the meaning of it. And I like the lookbook that they've used. Essentially, they've used this a massive beefcake bodybuilder dude to advertise the shoes. Not sure what the reason is. We're going to probably read it in the copy below. But as a shoe, just kind of going back to what I spoke about previously about the glory years of sneakerhead and you know how collecting has kind of changed over the years and it's essentially turned into you know people just collecting the most rarest shoes with the most value in order to kind of flip it you know a few years down the line which you know i had nothing against but come on you know let's do some more so this asix um again reminds me of that era during crooked towns where i think there was an era where asix was kind of blowing up it might have been in part due to the whole um, Amsterdam Pata crew. I know it's a very popular shoe around them and around those dudes. They were kind of kind of pushing that shoe really, really hard. And I think at the time I was kind of hesitant on the Pata or the Essex Joe Light because I think it's got a split tongue in the front. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have a tongue that you can actually, you know, pull up and down. And there was a moment in time when most of the kids in my school were tying their shoes a certain way. And it only was it was only beneficial if your tongue was a conventional tongue that kind of flat forward. So this shoe kind of made it hard to kind of have that kind of style. But I really like the shape of it. I like the shape. I like the fact that it was extremely 80s, 90s influenced. Um, you got the whole tech side of it. You got the idea of the different color um, EVA on the polyurethane on the midsole. You got the black outsole with the white midsole, which is a classic staple of kind of 90s or 80s uh, running athletic shoes. And just in general, the kind of citrusy blue pops everywhere were just something I kind of really resonated with. I remember getting a pair of the gel light freeze. I think I got like a brown and a purple pair. I forgot there was a collaboration. I forgot what the collaboration was with, but I remember giving them to my brother and he fucked them up quite quickly. But again, a real a real underrated shoe that only came to prominence because a couple of sneakers decided not to buy the conventional standard Air Max 1s, Air Max 90s, all that sort of stuff, and decided to kind of branch out and kind of discover some gems, unearth them. And then, you know, like a few, t you know, 20 plus years down the line, Assets is now going back in the archive and, re and resurrecting them and bringing them back again as a retro. So it goes to show that if consumers are a bit more intentional about what they buy and kind of, you know, champion the stuff that's a bit under rate, that's a bit under the radar, brands will recognize it because, you know, again, they're capitalists. Um, they want to make sure they maximize their profits. So if people are buying this item, they're going to go out and make sure that they kind of produce it, produce more of them so you can keep buying them. So if you're intentional in your purchases and you go out there and you kind of have a bit more of a, of a curious eye, you're looking for stuff that isn't well known and you're trying to make that cool. You're basically trying to take a shoe that no one gives a shit about and trying to swag it up and trying to make it look a bit more interesting on social. That's when you really, that's, that is essentially what I deem as sneaker culture or being a sneaker head but going and buying the most limited shoe that's only available in certain locations and then just having 10 of them in your house and standing next to the box that's not sneaking them that's being a corny kid in it and no one wants to be a corny kid but this um this um this um collaboration looks really cool oh, it's not collaboration it's a re-release of a shoe uh 1989 gel light uh free it's the 20th anniversary it says here on the on the headline as well You've got this amazing bodybuilder dude um, advertising it, which is super cool. I'm not sure if if it's because the Asex Gel Light Free has a history of uh, bodybuilders. You know, again, that's a split tongue. Remember, she's got a split tongue in the front. I'm not sure if that's the history of it if it's kind of very popular within the weightlifting industry or if it's just like a cool image to have which i definitely do agree with you got a picture here of the of the bodybuilder's feet surrounded by um lemons completely rinsed out and he is immaculately oiled legs <laughs> um it's really fucking cool man really fucking cool advert i really fucking like it again because sneaker sneakerhead um, or sneaker photography and lookbooks is kind of boring right they usually do the same old thing especially hype beast they love those fucking pictures of you know those guys wearing fucking pinroll jeans and you know always pointing their toes down at the ground somewhere always kind of half running and jumping places it's fucking annoying or or the classic one where they're kind of jumping up and down a puddle right it's all stupid fucking photography but this at least looks a bit more interesting right you've got you've got basically this amazing beefed up dude wearing a bodybuilder essentially wearing these amazing really delicate trap really delicate trainers with um lime green shorts you've got again some cool imagery here with limes and lemons surrounding it and just again very very fun uh very carefree doesn't take yourself too seriously and you can honestly see yourself pitch you, you can honestly maybe see yourself picturing you picture yourself wearing these shoes and of course you know as a byproduct as well there probably are some dudes out there that probably think hey if these shoes make me look like that guy i'm definitely gonna buy him because he's fucking ripped um but here's a here's an article from the from hype beast says the following the faith anniversary of the joe light free is right around the corner and assets are set to kick off the festivities with a little early 
uh, by bringing back the OG Citrus colorway, an original style that helped launch the Joe Light 3 back in 1989, the Citrus offers a crisp look lovingly recreated in celebration of the silhouette's impending milestone. Um, the Joe Light 3 has grown into a street style favorite over the three decades. Um, list of collaborations from A Few, Ronnie Feig, Atmos, and Beams, just to name a few. Using a crisp white as its primary color, the Citrus calls a point where value, oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. The former, the, the, um, also, any other club, any other news about the video? Check out the A Fuse humorous images and campaign video featuring German bodybuilder Steve Bern, uh, Bentin right here. And for more of the SHA like, click here. Okay, so this is a video as well to back up the entire thing. I'm pretty sure it'll be. Is it going to be in German? Ich muss dir leider mitteilen, dass wir bisher wirklich noch keine. Yes, yeah, so yeah, it's in German. I'll link the video in the show notes for you guys to check out. But it's a pretty cool video. It's a dude. I think he's in therapy somewhere. And then here's obviously the bodybuilder eating lemons and wearing the shoes. Mama Mia, that's insane. <laughs> it looks super cool, man. It was really fun. I'm, I'm a big fan of it. I really recommend you check it out. I'll link it in the show notes for you guys to see the whole article on Hypebeast with the video attached to the bottom. There's some cool imageries here again at the bottom here from IGTV on their collaboration page. And yeah, definitely check them out. Available on November 15th. So that's tomorrow on Friday for 120 euros. Definitely check them out. The Citrus or the Asics Gel Light 3 in Citrus colorway. Uh, again, a real cool ode to the you know late eighties, early nineties um, sneaker. Them really cool imagery and the lookbook. So again, big up to the guys involved in this. Didn't take yourself too seriously. No pin rolls and sights, and just a really cool classic um, photography pieces there. Really recommend check it out. Very very cool. 